What's up, YouTube? Will Survives back with another episode of Living in the Woods. Um, man, I'm uh, driving back. I made a couple posts on TikTok, so I'm driving back from service right now, and I'm about to uh, I'm about to cook up some dinner, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys while uh, while I'm cooking up. This is the uh, the entrance to the property, uh, guys. Please don't. Uh, Please don't find me, but it's pretty rough. It's a rough road. The uh, the van makes it, but barely. There's the um, bus right up there. Let's go. It's such a sick spot, guys. It's actually so cool. Uh, pimped out. Pimped out to the max. I just keep my solar panel right here, right where I park, and it plugs right into the jackery with this little adapter. Keeps my phone going. I'm uh, working on making this water collection system uh, a little bit better, but this is what I got right now. Uh, it works for cleaning my hands and face and dishes. I really shouldn't be washing my hands in it. I don't really know what I'm doing. But now we can cook. My stuff isn't organized that good right now. I'm not a very organized person, guys. But this is where I'm keeping my stuff. And this is where I'm cooking up food, too, at the, at the moment. Till I get a kitchen going in the hut. Today, I'm going to be making mashed potatoes with freeze-dried ground beef some crackers ooh and a can of peaches also a can of peaches got to eat the fruit i almost always forget to eat fruit and vegetables but i'm trying ooh guys guess guess what i um i came out here with 5 cases of these um energy drinks you guys will probably be proud to know that I have, uh, well, actually, I don't know. I think I have quit. I woke up today and didn't drink one and forgot to drink one and then decided not to drink one. No headache. Now that I mention it, I'm not sure about the headache part. But I think I'm going to uh, quit drinking those uh, energy drinks. So that'll hopefully help my health in the long run. I'm super excited to show you guys the uh, tour of what it's looking like right now. I have finally uh, moved past the um, digging portion of the build. I, I maybe have a little more digging to do and I'm moving some dirt back once the build is done. But I'm starting the build now. Placed my first log today, laid down the tarp. Can't wait to show you guys. I've been moving kind of slow with the progress because I'm really just trying to figure out um, like figure out my plan for the build. I don't want to rush into anything because I kind of only have one shot at this. But I am making sure to uh, put in a bunch of work every day. Because even if I'm not building the structure, there's so much stuff to do. I have to collect tons of firewood for the uh, for the whole winter. I've been uh, cutting down trees. I've oh man, on I'm being on. I'm debating getting a um, a chainsaw for firewood. I need a whole lot of firewood. Um, and. I, I love see I love the process of cutting firewood chopping firewood is one of the best exercises and I love doing it but I cannot say the same for sawing up the firewood that is a grueling process that works only like three different muscles in my freaking shoulder and I don't know if it's sustainable for the whole winter I don't want to actually um, die I'll still do um, all of the building with hand tools. I love using hand tools, but um, chainsaw for firewood, possibly. 
I haven't noticed that I've been getting lonely out here. The landowner, Lucky Thrives, his name is Derek. Him and his wife come up at least once a week on the weekend, and they bring Za, and they bring food, and we hang out. And he's got a... Derek's got a younger brother, and his brother's got a friend. They come up and kick it every once in a while with Derek. And I'm still going into town. So... I mean, I'm saying what's up. I'm saying hello, asking people how their day is every once in a while. So, that's good. That was definitely a little bit of a worry being out here all alone, but it's big chillin'. I don't have a fork. Guys, I'm gonna eat this, and then let's um, let's do a tour of the uh, of the spot and what I've got, what I've got done so far. All right, let's go do the tour now, boys. Okay, since we left off, this used to be about a foot and a half in. I did make it a little bit wider. I don't know if you guys saw the shelf. But this is going to be a shelf now. I think I'm going to stack logs vertical behind this uh, support beam I got. Make them level to the back of this shelf. Make a rock shelf. I'm going to have two posts in the corners that go up really high. And the roof is going to extend back about about six inches above this right here which is the edge of the drainage system and I'll fill that with rocks and dirt clay maybe up to the roof have the roof extend over the drainage system a little bit so that water isn't coming in through that crack from the sky once there's a post right here and over there, I have holes dug. I have a hole right here, right here, right here, and over here. Can't see. Um, they're under the tarp, but I'm just going to puncture through the tarp. Put posts up. And then before I line the logs on the walls, I have one more black tarp like this. And I will run them off the side down under this tarp at the bottom. So any water that um, gets under that tarp somehow will just go under everything. I have this tarp laid down. It's all the way up to here, the front, but it's covered with dirt because I'm going to, this dirt will now stay dry. Once I have the roof up, this dirt will stay dry because of the tarp. And I'm going to make a rock floor. I have a bunch of flat stones that are perfect for the floor. And so the dirt will help them sit nicer. I want to collect water off of the roof. I also want to have a garden on the roof. But the wa I want the water from the roof and the water from the irrigation system to go to the same place and then I want to somehow somehow uh, filter all that water so it's at least real good for cleaning myself and dishes and man I gotta figure out if there's something like a life straw that I could just filter the water into and it just goes through it into a big bucket is that a thing guys I'm not sure, but that would be the coolest. That would be the coolest. I have a ton of dirt on either side. So I'll have enough to do a garden on the top of the roof. 
I'm I'm gonna do these two high beams. I'm gonna do two high beams up to here. Crossbar. Two beams right here, crossbar. Two beams up front, crossbar. And the roof is going to be 100% log. There's gonna be no gaps in between the logs, so it'll be very sturdy. After the logs, I'll put another one of these black sheets on top of that, cover it with dirt, and um, yeah. I just realized I, I could do a, a pitched roof like that and all the water from the roof would go into the irrigation system. And that would actually be kind of nice, huh? Dang. I maybe have a little more thinking to do. Dang. You guys let me know what you think about that idea. You guys let me know what you think I should do about that. Dang, I don't know. But guys, I'm not sure uh, how many rocks you saw in the last YouTube video, but I have a whole ton of rocks now, guys. Enough to make a little filtration creek do a floor and probably a couple other things honestly I have a wood stove and I think these rocks might explode if I made a fireplace out of them so I don't think I'm gonna use them for a fireplace but there's so many cool things you can do with rocks guys you guys definitely got some ideas you can spit in the comments uh, I'm gonna have so much fun with all the rocks. But. I think that's pretty much all I got to show you guys today. Haven't made too much progress, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, guys. It's gonna be a really cool fort in the side of the mountain. And I already got the basketball hoop up. Let's go. Puncher bags going up. Workout stations going up. Chicken coop, dogs. We're gonna have a blast. Again, I, I appreciate you guys so much. YouTube, you guys are the best community I got for sure. I got a few uh, videos from the past day. Yeah, today and yesterday I got some videos to show you guys. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Hey. Hey. I make the glizzy flip right the string around the hook Wait for a tug and reel it in Ayy, I reel it in Looking out for bears to really eat This ain't food as him I should probably buy a wood stove But I can't find one on Craigslist And they expensive at the store I'm in my bag looking for the silky And the axe I'm in the river Flipping rocks and stones I'm looking for crawdads all my clothes, I break them in and wear them out If there's some bugs that take the butt and break it up Then smoke them out, you see a fort that's made for kids I see it as a perfect house I built a home and then the rain just came and made me take it down Willie, William in the woods fake and outrageous Call me Jason, local organ kid Ballin' deep in the woods could call me Peyton They couldn't make me switch it all, not even if they pay me Yeah, no one ever gonna control what Willie's saying Hey, I make the glizzy flip, wrap the string around the hook, wait for a tug and reel it in. Smoking trees, I'm in the woods with my fish pull take and try to the creek. If the fish is small, I put it back to grow. I don't keep it fucking up the rat game while in the woods. Birds and bees, I put a flash stone on a stick that's in the ground. Now it's a seat. Willie really got the vision, I don't really care if you can't see it. Glizzy time, my bit filled with jalapeno and cheese. I'm stomping through the woods looking for berry cougar feces. I'm in the woods smoking wood.
I'm looking to cut down these two trees right here, but they're kind of leaning this way. Right at the, uh, the spot. So we're gonna see if I can fall it this way. Wish me luck. Well, that is kind of what I expected to happen. Um, but I tried. I'm gonna take out this tree real quick fall it down that way, move the tarp, and then hopefully fall it right through there, avoiding the cabin. I actually just realized that tree is leaning this way and I probably can't get it to drop that way. So I'm gonna do something real risky here. I'm gonna fall this tree this way. There's already a notch on the backside of this leaning tree. And hopefully if I cut this one this way, it takes both of them down in that direction because this one's a bit bigger than that one. We'll see, guys. I'm just about livid right now because I just cut that down perfectly. It fell right to this other stump and took the other tree down. And I was not videoing. I, um, I hope I can do something as cool as that again and I'll video it. Money. Let's go. Well, would you look at that? Uh oh. I already got the basketball hoop set up. Really with the mind, can I catch trout? Uh? Pass me the rock. Yeah, can't stop now. Hey, hey. Ha, ha. Yeah. Hey, I can't be stopped. Really, really gonna try not breaking all these laws. Go down to the lake and clay water and mix it with straw. Taking my time to pack it in so the next time it doesn't fall. <laughs> I'm tying knots. If I don't know how to tie knot, I tie a lot. I got the fish, your heads, crawfish, and pines boiling in my pot. Really gotta go to court. Pass me the ball. <laughs> Pass me the rock. Hey, hey, I make the glizzy flip, wrap the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey, I really didn't looking out for bears, cause Willie eat the same food as him. I should probably buy what's though, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.